The term Batten disease refers to a group of rare genetic disorders that affect the nervous system. This group of inherited disorders is also known as neuronal ceroid lipofusinosis, or NCLs. Each of the NCLs is linked to one of 13 known affected genes, which determines the age of symptom onset and rate of progression. Most symptoms of Batten disease appear during childhood. Progressive vision loss and seizures are common, followed by difficulty with speech, movement, and the loss of acquired skills. The rapid decline in function results in the need for intensive medical care and eventually leads to premature death. Each of the faulty genes linked to a form of Batten disease is responsible for directing the function of parts inside cells called lysosomes. Often referred to as the recycling center of our cells, lysosomes break down and remove waste, allowing cells to function properly. Faulty genes linked to Batten disease cause deficiencies in key lysosomal proteins, or pathways, resulting in waste buildup in cells. This buildup leads to injury to tissues and progressive damage to the body. Enzyme replacement therapy, which requires lifelong infusions, is currently a treatment option for only one form of Batten disease, while symptoms of the other 12 forms are managed by medications and medical equipment. Clinicians and researchers are exploring ways to target the cause of disease, and one potential option is gene therapy. Here to explain is Dr. Jill Weimer. Gene therapy aims to be a one-time treatment that could correct or replace faulty genes that are associated with that disease. Gene therapy works by slowing or even stopping the progression of the disease. This is done by introducing working genes into our cells that are in charge of producing the proteins our lysosomes need to function properly. The working genes are delivered into cells using a vector, which is often derived from a virus, because viruses are good at getting into cells. However, all of the viral genes have been removed, and the vector is modified to only deliver therapeutic genes. Typically, it's administered via injection to the central nervous system, such as the spinal cord. The new genes are able to instruct infected cells to produce the correct proteins and restore proper lysosome function. At this time, there is no one-size-fits-all gene therapy approach that could target all forms of Batten disease. Some of the forms of the disease currently being investigated for gene therapy are CLN 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Researchers will continue to work diligently on gene therapies in both preclinical animal models and human clinical trials to determine whether they are safe and effective to treat any of the multiple causes of Batten disease. For more information and resources about gene therapy for Batten disease, visit ASGCT.org.